Hello, I hope you're having a great day. We are talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart today, and that is stroller running. So I have two boys, James and Richie. Here's their pictures. And with both of them, I was back in shape postpartum by six months. Now, there's no tricks or tools or secret formulas that I used here besides I stroller ran. Uh, now, I have been a runner for going on 15 years now. So running obviously was going to be how I was going to run um, or get back in shape after I had a baby because that was just my preferred method of exercise. If running's not your preferred method of exercise, maybe this video is not for you. Maybe you aren't going to do this. But if it is, like and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more mom content specifically around running, but also just family stuff because I love my kids. So obviously I want to talk about them more. Today, I just really wanted to talk about something that there isn't much content out there online about, which is how you start stroller running. And you might think, oh, it's easy. You just go get your stroller and then you take off and it's just magic. Everything's just normal. That's not how it works. Honestly, stroller running is one of the hardest exercises I've ever done in my life. And I'll tell you this, it is not for the faint of heart. It is hard. I mean, when your baby's small and you know, only weighs, you know, between 10, and 15 pounds when they're just an itty bitty baby. Okay, maybe it's not as hard, but when they start to put on the weight and they get to be a toddler, that's when it gets pretty difficult. But that is when you push through and you actually get in the best shape. So my journey with stroller running started in April of 2020. So I had my first son in December of 2019. And I knew that after he got a couple of months old, I definitely wanted to get him into the jogging stroller that I'd purchased. So I purchased the Greco uh, jogging stroller. I'll put a picture of it here and a link down below. Great stroller, great first stroller because it had the convertible system where I also got the little um, car seat carrier where you hook it into your car. I mean, it's, it's a good system if you're a first time mom and you have one child. Uh, so I ran with that for probably the first two months, but I soon realized that it wasn't the best stroller for going faster. Uh, so when I started stroller running, I was running about nine minute miles with the stroller, which again, that's pretty fast. Uh, but I also ha already had a base. So I started running postpartum about four, uh, four weeks postpartum. Um, and then I got in shape pretty quick because I already had that nice base. I ran through my pregnancy. That might not be the case for you, but if you are running with one child, nine minutes is a pretty good base that you can reach uh, eventually if you can are consistent with your running. But going on from there. So I ran with this Greco stroller for about two months, realized, you know, I really need to up my game here. I need something a little more sturdy um, that, you know, I can even grow into. So I ended up going with an old classic. My mom used to run and ride bikes with us with this type of stroller. It's called a Burley. I'm sure you've seen them before. A lot of people put their dogs in them as well, um, but they are a great tool if you really want to travel um, safely and have an all weather system for your baby. So got this Burley in June put it together and I even bought the extra jogger wheel so that it had more stability. Now there is one issue that I've had with the Burley. The jogger wheel is nice and it definitely makes things more stable, but it is hard to balance it, especially if you only have one child in the Burley. So it took me about a month to really get it straight so that it wasn't curving to the left or curving to the right. Um, they have good instructional videos online about how to actually do this. It's just difficult when it's your first time messing with it and you don't really understand how to do the wheel. Um, I can even do a video about how I do it and how I struggle to find it if that's something you're interested in. So I live in Iowa. There's all types of weather here and this keeps my kids protected while we are running walking, whatever we're doing in the stroller. So that Burley is a godsend. Get it if you are very serious about running, especially get it because it's just safer and just more sturdy than any other stroller that I have used. And I have I have a couple strollers, a couple double strollers. Um, having two kids, you know, you want to have your uh, variations there. I guess that's the other downfall of the Burley. It is so bulky that um, you can't really take it on a plane. It's hard to put it in the car. I've done it. I have a RAV4, um, so a bigger car, but still it's uh, not great. To put it in the car so i would probably stay away from that um and if you want another double stroller i got one at target i'll put a picture of it here um and i'll put the brand link down below it's a cheaper double stroller and that's the one that i use when i'm just going on walks or putting things in the car because it's a good stroller um i really like it and i've even ran with it when we're on vacation so it's nice that would definitely be my second stroller that i tell you to get so going beyond the equipment what else do you need to start stroller running well 
this one's going to sound like a given because anything with exercise is about this, um, which is start slow. You don't want to get injured. You don't want to feel awkward when you're running with the stroller. It is very awkward at first. You can't use both of your arms. You got to figure out, can I use one arm? I have to use both. Like, oh, when I'm going downhill, like, how do I make this happen? How do I go uphill? It's so hard. So there are things you're going to have to work through. That's okay. Everyone goes through that when they start stroller running. After about a month, I'd worked through a lot of those issues. Um, and it's really just second nature now. I actually have told my husband that I feel weird when I'm running by myself now. So, you know, there's a give and a take. Is it a little harder at first? Yes. But once you get into it, man, it is. there's nothing like it. I mean, I love running with my kids. They love the stroller. And it really is just a good all over workout. But do start slow. You can pull a muscle. You can run wrong and then really just throw off your gait. That happened to me a little bit because I was running with the two hands in the stroller. Threw off how I actually ran. Had to retrain myself to know like, okay, you got to make sure you have one hand on at times so that you still are getting the full power through of the arm because you can forget those muscle movements that you've known for years just because you're always running with the stroller. So keep that in mind and, you know, just make sure that you're being safe taking it slow and uh, doing the proper route when it comes to stroller running. So my last big tip for you when you're starting stroller running is consistency. Now this, just like any other exercise that you do, is very important. If you are not consistent, you're never going to improve and you're probably going to hate it. So when I started stroller running, I was doing four days a week, six to eight miles. And that was difficult. Um, I already had been running six to eight miles, but it's just so much harder when you uh, do it with the stroller. But the consistency of keeping that schedule up, that's what kept me going. And that's what got me to the point where I am today, where I'm running with two kids. And it seems like it's not that awful. Obviously, it's harder. Obviously, I'm running slower. I'm just barely under nine minute miles, um, especially after a winter where I wasn't outside running with them and I'm getting back into things. Uh, but, you know, that's OK, because I just feel stronger. And honestly, with the second baby, when I was going through postpartum, I already started running again at two weeks. I know a little early. Don't tell my doctor. She said at three weeks I was cleared. I started one year, week early. Whatever. We're not going to talk about it. But uh, I definitely got in shape so much quicker because I was running with my oldest at that time. Because with the burly, I do have to say, you have to wait till your child can hold their head up. Usually that's five or six months before you can run with the burly. So that's why something like the Greco jogger is better if you have one child because you can run with them with the actual car seat in there. So, you know, it's, it's a nice one if you want to run earlier with your kids like I did with uh, my first. Uh, yeah, but I got in shape so much quicker when I was pushing my son than I did previously when I was just running on my own at four weeks postpartum um, and getting back in shape. I also just felt stronger and I feel like my abs went together quicker and I just felt better. So yeah, I definitely would say if you have been thinking about stroller running, go do it. Like what's holding you back? Uh, just make sure that you do it safely, get the right equipment and, you know, be consistent with it because that's what everything's all about. Consistency. Well, I hope you like this video and I hope that it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be making more videos. So give me some suggestions as well that what you would like to hear about being fit as a mom, being a runner mom, what, you know, what we do in a day, um, anything that you really want from me. I am all open to make videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.